Here is a trick that you can use to determine the number of oxygen and the number of negative charge in some of the most common polyatomic ions. Using the sentence, Nick the camel ate clam supper in Phoenix with Brad. In this case, we look at the three patterns. The first one is the underlying letters represents the symbol of the first element in the polyatomic ions. Okay, here we have the underlying letter. The number of consonants represent the number of oxygen atoms in the polyatomic ions. So we have a consonant versus the number of vowels represent the number of negative charges of the polyatomic ions. For example, let's look at nict. But before we look at the example, the purpose of this trick is to know the number of oxygen and the number of negative charge. Therefore, you need to know that the word nick is related to a specific polyatomic ions. For instance, nick represents nitrate. So N is underlined, so the element symbol is going to be N. In this case, the word nick has three consonants, one, two, three. Give you three oxygen atoms. It has one vowel it's right here, so therefore it's going to be one negative. And this gives you the chemical formula for the polyatomic ions for nitrate. Then we have the word camel. Camel is related to the polyatomic ions carbonate. In this case, C is underlined, so it's going to be carbon. So we have one, two, three consonants, so it's going to be three oxygen atoms. And we have two vowel, one, two, so therefore it's going to be two minus. And then we have chlorate which is referred to clam, clamps and chlorate. In this case, Cl is going to be chlorine. There are three consonants, therefore three oxygen and one vowel, so it's one minus. If you haven't noticed so far that all of the polyatomic has eight ending because of the word eight in there. So eight for eight polyatomic ions. In this case, the next one we have sulfur is for sulfate. The S underlying is going to be sulfur. And we have one, two, three, four oxygen because there are four consonants. And then we have two vowel give you two negative charge. For phoenix, it's going to be for phosphate. The P is going to be for phosphorus. There are one, two, three, four consonants. So it's going to be four oxygen atoms. And we have three vowels, so it's going to be three minus. Brad, Brad is for bromate. In this case, Br is going to be bromine. And there are three consonants, so it's going to be three. And we have one vowel, so it's going to be one minus. Now, if you know the polyatomic ions formula for the eight ending, you also know the form for the eight ending. If you look at the I ending, it has one less oxygen atom than the eight ending. So nitrite is coming from nitrate. Since nitrate has three, nitrite would have two because one less, so we have NO2 one minus. Chlorite is coming from chlorate. Instead we have three, chlorite will have two oxygen atoms. And you notice the charge does not change. The charge for IT ending and ATE ending is the same. And here we have sulfite. It's coming from sulfate. And still four, now we have three. So SO3. For phosphite, it's going to be three oxygen atom because phosphate has four. So we have PO3, three minus. Another type of polyatomic ions that relate to nickel camels is that we have hydrogen polyatomic ions. Now, by adding a hydrogen, you're adding a positive charge because hydrogen ions is one plus. So in this case, we have hydrogen carbonate, so it's gonna be HCO3. Notice the number does not change, right, for the atoms of oxygen, but the charge is going to change. Instead of having two minus, now you're gonna have one minus because the hydrogen adding a plus one to it. Then here we have hydrogen sulfate, which gives you H and SO4 is the same thing as sulfate up there, 
but instead of having two minus, you are going to have one minus. Then here we have phosphate, hydrogen phosphate, give you HPO4. It's no longer three minus, it's gonna be two minus. Remember, hydrogen ions plus one positive charge, so it's gonna be two minus.